it's winter today here in Tucson. Normally we don't have much of winter, even in January, but it's cold and raining and snowing on the mountain. We might even get snow, they say, in the next couple of days here. Church was so good this morning. Trav and Briley just got us to bottle. We wanted to fill up. I locked the doors so that the murderers don't get in while they're gone. But Chick-fil-A is not open on Sunday, so Chipotle it is. So we had a guest speaker this morning. He used to play for the Phoenix Suns. Do you remember his name, Chad? No, I don't. But the service was really good. I'll put it here if you want to listen to it. We they we also had youth service, so Hallie and Caden did worship. Just awesome. A bunch of you were telling me the other day when we went to Pee Wee that they had cauliflower rice at Chipotle too, and they did. I've got it for me. My coffee about came out of my nose when you said TV. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Six eight as a junior, 6'9 as a senior, averaging 25 points and 20 rebounds a game. I'm a high school All-American. I'm written up in Sports Illustrated as one of the best players coming out of high school, going into college. I'm not telling you that because I'm something special. That's just who I was. And it's not good if you deny what God has done in your life, okay? God made me good. And for me to say, oh, no, I wasn't. Yes, I was. I was good. You don't make it to the NBA if you weren't good. Ooh, look at that. It's like those old pots. Huh. I don't like how the top is painted, but I could change it. Make it look cool. It's only $15. Get it, Chester. Yep. Go get it. You want some? Oh. Mm. Chester loves hail too. <laughs> Several of you were asking about the colors of the pots that I, like what colors I used on them. I love how they turned out. I just posted a picture on my feed. Well, actually a bunch. It's like before and after. So if you swipe through, you'll be able to see all the before and afters. And then on the bottom of the write-up I put like the colors that I used on all the different pots they're so fun to make you can just make them so many different ways just make sure the paint dries in between or you have a big muddy mess and I did use the um the salt mixture technique that I made that's on my blog post I'll put it in the swipe up here if you missed it that's how to make them just look more like original clay like I think it's not so smooth and if you make some, tag me. I would love to see yours. I know a lot of you have said that you're going to make some. And I see a lot of people using lots of different techniques on these pots that are really cool. I'm really loving this technique. Trav and I have been sitting in this spot for probably hours today <laughs> trying to figure out what we're doing. Well, we know what we're doing with our floor plan generally. It, we're, I think we're changing a few things around and we're trying, we're looking for a local draftsman to draw the whole thing up for us. So if you know one, put it in a little box for me here. But I, I feel like everything's just taking forever. If you've ever built a house, is it like that? I mean, I, I just think there's so many steps and then it's hard to find people to do certain things. So once we get our plans drawn up, it, we already have most of our land, what do you call it? Land development? Site plan. Site plan. Most of that is done with a roundabout of how big our house is going to be. So I think we can start once we get our plan drawn up and get the contractor and get everything going. We're excited to start it. Right, Trav? <laughs> that might be the understatement of the century. <laughs> Trav's folding laundry as I sit here and watch him do it. <laughs> So some friends and I got together here on Instagram and we are doing a giveaway tonight just to bless some of you guys. So we're giving away four $500 Visa cards and you can use it for yourself to bless somebody else, to get groceries or not, do something fun. I'll put on the next slides here how to enter. It's super easy.